Hello and welcome to the Stoic Preparation course. Today we are going to be describing the unit of relative pronouns. I'm going to write it here. What can we say about the relative pronouns? There are some basic rules that we are going to apply. We're going to start with the basic relative pronouns, which which are the words who, which, whose, and then we have the word whom, and here we have the word that. So let us start. If you see a person and after the space a verb, then in the middle you need to place, to put, to answer, to select the word who. In this case, if we have an object and then a verb, then we need the word which, whose, work for, persons, or objects, followed by another person, or another object, whom is similar to who. The only difference is that whom comes after a preposition and that's how I can identify it. There is another one from here that comes after a preposition and that is the word which. So here is preposition plus which or object plus which, and then the verb. That can either take who or which. Many rules, huh? Let us try to present some examples for easier understanding. The driver is a person who goes there. And that's the verb, goes. The book, which was delivered. Now, in these two sentences, we can also say, the driver, that goes there, or we can also say the book that was delivered. Usually the day of the test, if the same word can be used uh, for two expressions or sentences, they're going to give you only one, not the two of them. Then, we can also say, the woman whose, I'm going to think about an object, whose car was crushed. Car is an object and woman is a person. I can also say, the car whose door was opened, and in this case, car is an object and door is another object, and for both cases I use whose. Let us think about another example. 
the man with whom you were seen. With is a preposition, then we have to use the word whom, with whom. The woman to whom these flowers are. These flowers are for the woman. The woman for whom these flowers are for. Or the woman to whom these flowers were delivered. These flowers were delivered. In both cases, I use a preposition with the word whom. It can also work for which. The computer with which I was working broke down, for example. The tool with which I was repairing it. So, with is a preposition, then we can use which. Based on these examples, I think it is time for us to put them into practice and see what happens. Here. Hotel guests or people, I'm going to say person, request is a verb. So I hope you remember we need the word who. To say Hotel guest who request late checkout service. Then here. Um, shareholder meeting is a noun, is a thing. And then you is a person. There are not many things here we can say, but we can also say that shareholder meeting is a thing. So I am going to refer that as that, because that can be similar to which. I can say in this sentence, attached please find a draft agenda for the shareholder meeting that you requested. Dr. White is a person, has put is a verb. So I am going to use the word who. Dr. White, who has put considerate effort. And then we can try next. Employees is a person or persons, people, in which is a verb. So in the middle, I'm going to choose who. Employees who wish. And we continue. Then it says connection technology, which is a thing, an object. And will is a verb. So which one do we have to choose? Yep. Which? It is this option. Venus Delivery will be adopting the network connection technology, which will improve in your office communication. In this case, we have report 
which is an object or a thing, and explains, which is a verb. So in this case, we have to work initially for this word, which we see here, there is no which, but we can see its equivalent. That's why I said previously, if they give you which, they wouldn't give you that if both of them are used. So in this case, they took out which, they gave me that. The executive wants the report that explains the purchasing patterns, etc. To remain competitive, we must know exactly, exactly what other companies are trying to achieve or the whether or that or how. Car Motors has recently built a factory in New York. We can take New York as a, an object or thing. And will is a verb. So we are going to look for which. Let's see how it works out. Carl's Motors has recently built a factory in New York, which will become operational next week. Orientation sessions for new students will be held. This is a verb. And here is another verb. So there are not many rules. We can say they're going to be held where it was held last week to mention a place. I didn't use which because I didn't see the pattern of object and verb. This is not an object, this is another verb. So I omitted that rule. Now here, you can see very easily, employees, people, stay, verb. So we need who. When you understand the rule, you can apply it very easily. Supervisors are people. Job are objects or things. And for this rule, we can use whose. And that would be option D. Supervisors whose job involved. Now we have a website, in is a preposition. So after a preposition, there are two options, preposition plus whom or preposition plus which. In here, I only have which, option A. In this exercise, we have the word customers, and that is people, and which is a verb. So we're going to look for who, not whom. People, not prepositions. Now, what else do we have here? Um, in this case, Uh, we can see there are some linkers. Buses in the metropolitan area are rarely on the schedule when traffic is busy and hectic. Some questions are necessary to be read like this. Jen Edwards, that is a person was is a verb so we're going to look for who this exercise we have to review 
which is a verb, and the proposed, this structure doesn't allow much to do, so we have to read the whole sentence. Researchers in a broad range of fields were asked to review how proposed projects may entail, what proposed projects may entail, which proposed projects may entail, and when. Here the best option is B. They have to review what the proposed project may entail. This question is easy because we have people and when we have people and objects, we have to use whose, people whose products. And we can try next. I've lost the paper. Paper is an object. I have. It is still a verb, meaning it is still an action. So I have lost the paper um, in which, with a preposition, in which I had written. Okay, let's see next. The man is a person, house is an object, so we can have whose to say the man whose house was robbed. I hope you see the mistake. I just uh, chose the wrong answer, but as I said, the answer is whose, because here's a person and here is an object. The man whose it was just my mistake, but the answer is still the same. So this is the correct answer. Now in this one we have companies. Companies are objects or things. And shareholders are people. And when we have these two, we can only place who's in the middle. I'll be more careful when selecting the answer. Then here, a firm is an object or thing, and produces is a verb. So when we have this structure, the only answer we can have is which. Uh, he works for a firm which produces software for a firm. Here, I have a preposition. And for prepositions, I can have oh, three applicants. So that's people. And for prepositions, we only have which and whom. But there's no which. So our answer is whom. Knowing that they are being referred. Meaning the applicants. Now here, is there a store around here? Here has nothing to do with the rules. So I need to read. A store here where I can get some stamps here. The option is where. Is there a store here? Or is there a store around here where I can get some stamps? We can try next. The man, that's a person. Wanted is a verb. So we can say the man who wanted to answer that one correctly. This exercise says, you'll have to try to get in touch with the person, the person is a person, and responsible is a verb, so we have to find this option, who, the person who is responsible. And we can continue. Here, again, person and verb so we're going to check probably you remember that who has this word that has the same meaning the person that is in charge i explained it at the beginning then here she failed the exam the exam 
is an object, a thing. Which came is a verb. Which came because if I have an object in a verb, I need which to answer that correctly. Two guys. So we have people in car. It's an object. So in the middle, we need whose to say two guys whose car had broken down asked me for a lift. Then here, 29. You should complain to the people. People and supplied it. Supplied is a verb. So we can place who. People who supplied it. Then we can try this. The man, person, answered, verb. So in the middle we place who. The man who answered. And that's how the exercise finishes. I hope you understood this section. Thank you very much for watching. See you next unit.